wanted to show this frequency that I'm tuning the current PSEX to. And what I've done here on this spectrum analyzer is the bandwidth is 30 megahertz from here to here. And I have set the center at 15 megahertz. And you can see the marker right here bouncing up and down. And you can see that when we've expanded out this far that it's quite hard to see that hump. You can actually detect it though it's bouncing somewhere between minus 79 and minus 74 dBm. But there's the hump right here. Now if you take and you look at that with 10 megahertz per division bandwidth on a different spectrum analyzer we see this. Here's the hump right here. And currently you see it's bouncing around 14, 13, 9, 14. And you can actually see a spike here off to the left which would be in around the 12, 13 range. And there's one that occurs every now and then right here. But this one's sitting kind of off to the left, this particular spike. And that's the same frequency the hook, uh, approximately the what we're reading here, 14.4, and that one's bouncing around 13.914. So that's well within the the uh, expected accuracy of these instruments. But there's what I'm tuning to. There's what's causing the initial resonance that's being pumped. And when I say pumped, if you want to read up a little bit on parametrics, we're actually pumping the frequency up in in its domain. But these here, I'm not quite sure what they are. I haven't explored them. They're of little interest to me. But this is the little critical animal right here. Now, if there's a physicist hiding out there in the background that would like to comment, I'm getting a pretty good idea of what this is. Uh, although that's outside of my field, but I would like to have someone comment on that especially as related to hydrogen and oxygen and also the molecule of water. Uh, I kind of think, yeah, I kind of think in the back of my mind I can see what, what that might really be.